In this video, we are going to learn how to save and retrieve regional languages data from the database. Now, uh, when you are working with uh, the ASP.NET application, you might have scenario where your client ha uh, belongs to some other country or some other state and they are asking you to develop a such kind of application where you should be able to insert uh, records or insert data into the database in, in his language. So I'm, I'm going to take example of Hindi language uh, here. So for example, uh, my client is asking me to insert data into the Hindi, Hindi language to the database. And uh, then uh, whatever data has been inserted, that should ultimately show onto the web page. So this is the uh, scenario I'm going to take. So in order to uh, take uh, show the example, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create on web page. And this web page, I have one label co uh, control that will be basically used to uh, uh, display the success message once the record has been inserted into the database and then uh, we have one text box uh, normal text box and another uh, text box is basically multi-line text box and we have a button on the click of the button we are actually uh, executing the submit data server side uh, method that we will see in a moment and then we have a grid view that will be basically used to populate the data from the database now in the server side what we have is that it is pretty simple actually we have our database connection string that is a page level variable we are retrieving from the web.config file as you can see here and in the in and if it is not post back then we are calling the bind data method and in the bind data method what we are doing is that we are using the sql uh, connection and then sql command we are getting all the data from the database and uh, putting into the data table and then ultimately we are showing uh, binding the data to the grid view now in in the real time scenario you should not use a sql statement but you should use the stored procedure if you do not know how to use the stored procedure you can watch my edu.net videos uh, in the dotnet how to tips and tricks uh, subscription uh, now before we proceed further let me show you the database structure so my database structure is something like this as you can see I have one auto ID column, then we have title column and description column. All these title and descriptions are of n type, means the title is of n varchar. Remember that in normal scenario we use varchar, but here we have used n varchar because we have to store the regional data. Okay, and regional data uh, might not be properly stored into the normal data type that is varchar type. So that's why I have used the n varchar type. And then uh, for the uh, description, we have used n text uh, because uh, the description can go long, and so that's why I have used n text. Now, uh, in the in the summit data, when uh, the button will be clicked, what we are doing is that we are basically using the normal edu.net code to insert the data into the database. The only difference here is that instead of normal varchar, we are using the n varchar here. Uh, for the title and for the end text we are using SQL DB type dot end text and that's it rest all the things are normal now let me go ahead and run this page and show you how it is looking like so I'm going to view in browser and uh, yes this is my page now let me maximize it and uh, and what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to any Hindi news uh, paper uh, web page. So, for example, Jagran, I'm just going. And what I will do is that I will copy text from there. And let me just copy this text. So, I'm going to copy this text. Any text you want to copy, and then I can paste it into the description. You can see that it is coming in the Hindi. And uh, for the title, I'm just copying from here and pasting it here now once I will click on the submit button what will happen is that the record has been submitted successfully and you can see that whatever I have uh, entered into the text box that is appearing in, in, in my page because of this this bind bind data method yes now one very important point to remember here is that in normal text box you might not be able to enter the Hindi uh, language uh, uh, characters 
so in order to uh, enter the hindi language or any regional language uh, characters you will have to use some scripting uh, codes and that scripting codes uh, basically differs from the language to language so for hindi language what you can do is that you can go to uh, hink hinkhost.com this is the url hinkhost.com slash help.php and you can use their uh, apis uh, perhaps it is publicly available and as you can see that i am just writing any hindi words and you can see that it is appearing here so you can also use these uh, apis for your text box that will enable your user to enter the uh, data into the hindi language uh, uh, on your website now for other regional languages i'm sure that there might be other apis available so you can just look for uh, those apis and you can use them i hope this was useful